debt consolidation and buying a home. How do they go hand in hand, right? Well, we're bringing in REMAX specialist Maria Raymer. She always has great advice. Good Thank to you. see you again. Nice Thank you for you. coming here and helping us with this, right? Because yeah. people, you know, may have debt and they think, oh, I want to buy a home, but that doesn't necessarily have to be a deterrent because of debt consolidation, right? Correct. So what exactly is that? So what people are looking for now is a way that they can transition into the home that they need with the rates being so much higher. So the need is still there to expand whatever, if they have a baby, if something in their life changes, mm -hmm. they need a new home, um, they wanna make it somehow affordable to make that transition and still be comfortable in their monthly budget. Right. And, and that's what debt consolidation can do. If it's done right, it can allow them to get that house they need, mm -hmm. but not increase their monthly debt. And so how do they go about doing that? What does that process yeah, look like so for them? A great question. <laughs> so how is the question? Yeah. So what you would do is you would look at your debt and assess it. Can you pay off credit cards? Sometimes people have multiple credit cards and they could pay that off out of the equity from their home because a lot of people have gained a lot of equity while mm -hmm. the market was really like full steam ahead and so they've built a lot of equity and have those gains from over the past few years right. and so what they can do instead of putting all that money down on the down payment of their house target certain debt credit cards uh, furniture loans car loans student loans okay. and utilize that um, to pay off their monthly budget get that down some put less money down on the down payment, but at the end of the day, their budget stays the same, and then they get into the bigger home that they need in that instance if they were looking for a bigger home. Now, is there a risk associated with this? Because that yes. sounds great, right? <laughs> yes, it, there's always a but. So here's the but. Um, if you go and pay off all that debt and you get your budget in line and that m monthly payment for the new house, mm -hmm. everything works, you don't wanna go back and charge up all that debt again. Right. And certainly having open lines of credit could be a little bit of a temptation. So I would close those accounts. If oh. I paid off credit cards and did not want to charge that stuff back up again, I would, unless you're super disciplined and could throw that credit card <laughs> into the desk and never right. use it, good for you. But for me, I would probably close out those accounts so I wouldn't be tempted to charge that debt back up. Of course, you could end up in a situation if um, you did that. So right. that would be the risk in it. Okay, well, thank you for warning us about yes. that. Uh, <laughs> is there another way, though, that we can lower our rates in the current market if, if people don't have a lot of debt they need to pay off? Yeah, that's a great question too. Um, so the tools we're utilizing now with the higher uh, interest rates are adjustable rate mortgages and buy downs. Those are the two key words that you're gonna be hearing out there in the industry. Okay. And it, they're great. It, they help you get in at a lower payment. And then as the rate comes down, you can look at refinancing at a later time. Mm -hmm. And so that those would be two really good tools for that. Okay. See, this is nice. She's giving us options. I like yes. the sound of that. So is there a downside though in waiting for the rate to come down before you buy? Because people might be looking at the number thinking, ah, it'll probably get better in a year or so. Yeah, and, and it's true. And Not I hear that all the time. People are always trying to guess the market and right. take all the mystery out of it for you right now. You <laughs> cannot guess the market ever. Not the stock market, not the housing market, not the interest rates. You cannot guess it. So go based on your need. If you need a house, buy a house. But the reality is we are still getting appreciation in the market. So mm -hmm. that house a year from now is going to cost you a lot more money. Okay. So if it is a need that you have today, buy the house, lock in the price and look at refinancing down the road. Oh, you always make it seem so easy. Thank yes. you so much. But I I know that's the 25 years plus that you've been yes. in this industry, right? So yeah. if somebody is interested in gaining some of your knowledge, where can they go to learn more? MariaRamer.com. All right. Always Thank you. Maria. Help. Yes, you're always so great. Thank Thanks. you so much Thanks, for helping Jordan. us out with that today. And of course, if you need to see this interview again, maybe get that information one more time, just head to our website, firstcoastliving.net.